This video will walk you through the contents and proper use of the Neutronics Ultima ID 1234YF refrigerant analyzer. The device comes in a hard shell carrying case. Within the hard shell carrying case, the user will find an operating manual, a 134A tank adapter fitting, a power supply for both charging the battery and powering the device. The base unit itself and an accessory package including couplers for both 1234YF and 134A, a power cord, a tank adapter for 1234YF cylinders, and a USB cord. To operate the Ultima ID 1234YF refrigerant analyzer, select the appropriate coupler from the accessory bag. In this case, we'll be using a 134A coupler. The coupler comes attached to a hose. The hose has a user replaceable flow restrictor, which aids in the prevention of oil integration into the refrigerant analyzer. It's a disposable, consumable part. Press the power button to power on the refrigerant analyzer. Press the OK button and the device will begin warming up. Once warm up is complete, we're going to select the refrigerant we wish to test. In this case, we'll select the 134A button. The device is now ready to calibrate. Connect the hose to the back of the device. and press the calibrate button. Calibration will take approximately 30 seconds. Once calibration is complete, select the 134A tank adapter because in this case we're going to be testing a refrigerant tank. Connect the tank adapter to the refrigerant tank. Connect the coupler to the tank adapter. Close the coupler valve. And we'll turn on the tank. Press OK to begin the test. The test will take approximately 60 seconds. If this were a vehicle, we would be connecting to the low side service port of the 134A system on the vehicle, and the process would be identical to what is being shown here. As soon as the test is complete, we're going to turn off our tank. Of course, if this was a vehicle, you wouldn't have to do that. We're going to open the valve and disconnect it from the tank in this case or the vehicle. The results are then provided on the screen with an option to print, turn the unit off, or say OK. In this case, we will hit print. The test results are then printed on the printer for a permanent record. If you would like an additional set of test results, you can simply hit the print button again. Now we will say OK. We'll disconnect the hose from the back of the device and our test is now complete.